Will technology replace human translation? Why this topic? Firstly, because I am quite passionate of translation and new technologies. I obtained a master's degree and also I gained some experience from my work. And secondly, because I observed that people are familiar with some kind of online application for free and instant translations. So I wanted to walk you through some new concepts and my perception on technology and translation. Well, let's get started by summarizing the main contents of this speech. I will start by giving you some context with one story. Then I will mm, make the difference between interpreting and translation. Thirdly, I will define machine translation Fourthly, I will introduce a new concept. This is called computer-assisted tools. And finally, I will uh, respond to the question, will technology replace human translation? So, let's get started by our story. Parker Pen was launching a ballpoint pen campaign in Mexico. Its ads were supposed to say that it will link in your pocket and embarrass you. However, the company mistakenly thought that the Spanish word for embarrassed was embarazar. Finally, the ads said something like, it won't leak in your pocket and make you pregnant. As you can see, this is an error in translation. Now we are uh, making the difference between translation and interpreter. Inter interpreting. According to the American Association, Translators Association, uh, the translators write, the interpreters speak. Take the sample. If we are uh, trying to understand a German customer manual, this is a written document, so we're talking about translation. Whereas if we are planning to travel on the spot for a um, ball meeting in Japan, we need to understand the people, the speakers, and then we need an interpreter. For this context, for this speech, we are talking about translation. This is written text. Okay, now that we have a clear context, we are, I'm going to uh, define machine translation. Machine translation is the transfer of text from one language into another by a computer with no human interaction. This means that, for example, with Google Translate, we have one example, you, you go on the internet and you have a text you don't understand, you, you introduce your text into the, in the box and the Google Translate uh, gives you the translation into your mother tongue so you can understand the meaning. There's another example, Sky Translator. Uh, Sky uh, has a new function that allows the users to use translations automatically by a computer again. So, now that we have machine translation, I will give you two pieces of evidence why machine translation is not suitable for a professional, uh, professional use. Firstly, because of typography. Typography is the arrangement of text uh, by using bold, italics, quotation marks, capital letters in written text. So, typography varies from one language into another. If, uh, if we have a look at most uh, printers and office staff, they are unaware of these differences and they simply adjust a foreign language uh, text, the typography, into their own uh, conventions. So if they are working with a German document, they might notice that the nouns take capital letters, whereas in Spanish and French, the days of the week and months are with no capital letters. Quotation marks are also different from one language into another. If we take a look into German, quotation marks are like this, 
whereas in French and Spanish are like those, Latin in quotation marks. So it is essential when preparing a document for a target audience to uh, convey with the, all the, the, this target audience typographical conventions so the text will be natural and adequate. Second mm, evidence, I have a testimony. The Wall Street Journal uh, gave two free online automatic translation services a test run and concluded. These services are possible for travelers or for those wanting to understand a letter from a distant cousin. I definitely wouldn't use them for business or anything like this needing accuracy. So now that we have these two pieces of evidence that um, machine translation is not suitable for professional use, I am going to address to give you a new concept. This is computer assisted tools. Computer assisted tools is the way translators do use technology. It is a software that saves the original sentence and your translation into a program called translation memory. So when we are translating a document, we don't have to translate the same sentence twice. Imagine we are uh, translating uh, some tips for travelers from a website. We come up with a sentence, compare prices and check availability. Then we save it and we continue with our translation. After a while, we come up again with the sentence and the translation memory retrieves. This is, it gives you the translation you, or you already did, so you can reuse it. As you can see, computer-assisted tools are very convenient for translators. It, it makes them more productive, it can work, they can work faster and more consistent because they can translate the same words the same, the same way. Okay, now that we have mm, the definition and the evidences of machine translation and then the computer-assisted tools, I will address our question. Will technology replace human translation? I have two more pieces of evidence here. This time they are statistics. According to Common Sense, a consulting firm, uh, the, the translation industry generates revenues of $37 billion a year. This is a huge amount. As you can see, translation industry is a, is a growing market. There's another piece of evidence. The US Bureau of Statistics declares that the translation industry is expected to grow by 42% in this decade. This is from 2010 until 2020. These details let us conclude that there is still a huge uh, market for trans human translation. As previously discussed, software can give you a gist of the meaning of a foreign language. But as we observe with our exa example, the both point pen campaign in Mexico, in business, rough translation is not enough. Human translation can benefit a lot from technology by using and repeating and practicing. However, it is not expected that in the near future, translation will be completely automatic. So there's a huge space for human translation to continue. Thanks a lot.